48 car was presented by the people of France to the people of Utah February 22, 1949. The boxcar and others were used to transport soldiers and horses to and from fighting fronts. During World War I, 1917-1918, during World War II, 1944-45. As a symbol of gratitude, the people of France sent 49 cars filled with gifts from the United States. The Merci Box car was built in 1885 in Lyon, France. The cars carried 40 men and 8 horses. We call them the Merci trains or gratitude trains. Uh, the French would have been Merci saying thank you in 1947 for the food and everything, clothes and stuff we sent over there. They sent stuff back to say thank you. France was the only country that did so. Uh, they were used for uh, hauling freight around, designed to hold eight horses or 40 men. The 40 men would be like sardines. You would be just standing up. There was no chairs. Uh, they had windows in it, but where he was on the ground, there was no way that you could get even hardly move. And that's how our troops were moved across Europe in these cars, so that uh, from one point A to point B. And uh, several of the people that rode these said that uh, they tried to put less people but they put straw down so they could sit on the straw, but it gets so hot inside there, they threw the straw, the straw out because they was afraid to catch on fire. They sent 49 cars full of stuff from each province. A lot of it was just simple things. Each car went to a state and it was usually the capital and ours went to Salt Lake City. This is what it looked like. This is the original crew when it was presented in 1949. It looked much prettier then, but after 30 some years of sitting neglected, uh, there was hardly a plaque on it or very un not well taken care of. It was 2002 before we could get the car and it took us about three years to get it finished and move it out here. Right now it's on the north end of the Union Station uh, grounds and uh, we thought that this would be the best place for it where people could see it. This is what it looked like when we came here. It was painted army green and inside was navy gray. The car was very faded out. We took it out of weeds. It was tall as it was from Salt Lake City. Had to bring it in by, by a flat car and uh, the crew had to put track down to uh, put the car on. The car is 25 foot long and we had to have track enough for it to sit on and uh, we found two pieces and put them down and spiked them down uh, so that we could have the crane move the car in. About 60 percent of the wood we had to replace because of dry rot so you can see what it looked like there. It had gifts in it and the state of Utah has been so kind to actually let us keep them here so there is some of the items in there, the more important ones we keep under lock and key and under proper uh, care. It was important for us to do this because our comrades that rode in these, now most of them have passed away and many people don't know what these cars were used for and uh, uh, sadly to say uh, they don't even stand why, why were they used because they don't know what a war was and we're just trying to revitalize the memory of, of all those thousands and thousands and thousands of GIs that rode these cars across, all across Germany, all across Europe, France, everywhere.